all right welcome to another video so what we got here is a lg g3 with its usual issues of blue screen um this is a very common issue uh what will happen with the phone is it will just simply not boot uh sometimes you might get it to boot sometimes not but eventually it will be so bad that it will never turn on again so this is what we got here in this particular case. Um, this phone will just not start. So this is D852. Um, it's a Canadian model, a Canadian variant of D850, I think. Uh, when you plug it into charge, it still shows somewhat of a charge. I think it's pulling uh, half an amp. In a minute here, I have a shot of the uh, amp meter. And you can see that it's clearly pulling charge, so it's, something's happening. Uh, but uh, it's not really charging. It's, it's not the true charge because this device should be charging at probably an amp. Between 0.7 to a full amp. Um, here's a shot of the, uh, of the amp meter. Yeah, 0 0.46. So yeah, the, what the actual issue is, is the RAM lifting... Uh, in the uh, CPU package is actually separating or there's a bad uh, joint um, there's a quick fix for this but before we get there I do want to take out the board and maybe uh, uh, read the chip through ISP method and then at the end of the video I'll fix it quickly first thing we'll do we'll take it apart get all these screws out that's what I don't like about these uh, Android phones it's just way too many screws so I guess most ma Android manufacturers now they move away from screws and, and they moved into uh, gluing the back to the phone which is even more annoying because it's even harder to remove but I'm guessing uh, anything for the thinness of the device uh, anyways here is the um, easy J tag as you can see I don't have D852 on the list but I am pretty sure, I think it was uh, D850 that matched the uh, ISP pinout, which is essentially the same phone, it's just a different model for, for Canada. Anyways, back to the disassembly. I think there's like 16 screws. It is extremely annoying and I hate it. So we got all the screws out. Almost, yep, yeah, there we go and get the board out pop the shields and here's the cpu and here's the emmc so um i do have a microscope camera and i filmed the entire procedure of soldering this onto the uh the wires onto the board unfortunately something happened to my uh microscope camera where it just broke well maybe not broke but i guess it's um, the video file got corrupted. I recorded one after it was fine, but um, Unfortunately, you're gonna have to um, watch me from an angle. I won't be able to show you the actual Soldering from the top because the stupid camera broke Somewhere here you can see all the blotching on the uh, on the on the microscope camera, so might as well stop it there I'll speed this up I don't know if anyone wants to see me soldering, soldering wires on, but uh, you can see it from the side. The usual 2.8, 1.8 ground clock, command, ground, I think I mentioned that already. No, and data zero, that's it. Six wires, the usual. I should probably replace these wires, I've been using them for a long time. That's the problem, with if you continue using the same wires over and over, uh, you might start getting noise on, noise on the line, so uh, probably good practice is to change them once, uh, once, once you finish your job. I guess I'm being lazy, so I didn't do it. And so here it is, plug, into your, plug it to Z3X, easy JTAG, and we get ID and we, get, we got it dumping. So this process took about an hour and a half, it's only going at 4.4 megabytes per second, so it's not the fastest. But it's moving along slowly. Uh, 
and here it is done uh, so now we just can take this binary and open it in our studio since the client doesn't care for anything but the images And there's the pen and we can go straight to uh, user partition there it is there give it a second to load media zero find DCIM folder and here are some images So it looks like it's all good. Yeah, it's looking good. So that's the case done. Maybe one more image. Let's check one more further down. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good recovery. We got about 13 gigs from the entire user user media folder. Now we can remove all the wires and now I'm going to do a quick fix. It's really just a temporary fix. And the phone is working. Put it back together. And that's it there. It's charging and it's now charging at the right amperage. Anyways, thanks for watching. You know the drill. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video.